Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program where uh, my, my note here tells me that the lathe encounter worked. So um, we did indeed successfully get into orbit around lathe. We are at about 3 million kilometers thereabouts. So uh, yeah, that was uh, successful I guess. <laughs> at this point this is post BFA launch and uh, yeah, I haven't played this for like two weeks, so uh, I have no memory of any of this. My mind is just full of BFA right now. So I guess what we need to be doing is deciding what to do next, and it looks like... I think the next step would be to put up a second commsat, probably in an external orbit around all of the moons. That's assuming, of course that we don't have a contract. Let's go check. What do we got for contracts available? And actually, now that I think about it, my note says that we have not done an orbit and grabbed science around Lathe yet. Okay. First things first. Hmm. Let's see here. Adjusted orbit of Gilly. Position sa satellite into a stationary network around Jewel. To utilize existing assets to start building a stationary satellite. We already have a stationary satellite around Jewel. A satellite in a specific orbit of BOP, though. Now that is something that we'll do. We would need to have thermometer, mystery goo. That's fine. Antenna can generate power, maintain stability. 500k kilometer, or 500... Yeah, 500k kilometers, technically. That is true. <laughs> yeah, that'll be fine. We'll grab that. Okay. So then, the next step is still going to be to go grab the science around Lathe. And we're just going to do a single orbit for that. So, come on down here. Orbiting Lathe. We'll fly this. And we'll just do a single orbit around... I'm going to go ahead and create ourselves a quick... Nope, needs to be on this side. Quick maneuver node there to mark where our orbit begins. Go ahead and stop warp, and let's see what we can get. Let's go to a thousand X for now. This is, of course, Jewel here. The, uh, the body that we are orbiting is, of course, Lathe. Oh! Hang on a moment, why is it not actually stopping warp? Because I told it to not stop warp. Okay, so uh, I am an idiot. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and delete this maneuver. There we go. And we'll create a new one. Add a maneuver here. Okay. And now we will warp. We're over the Sagan Sea. That's fine. What else do we got on this orbit? Shores. We'll do a gravity scan. How much do we have in terms of electric charge? Plenty, I think. Of course, we are currently occluded by the planet, which is unfortunate. But we did successfully upload our gravity scan. Fantastic. So let's push on. Sagan C again. That is just fine. We're good to go there. Peaks. We'll get a gravity scan there. There we go. Luckily, this thing has a lot of bandwidth, so we can upload a lot of data very quickly. Sagan C is fine. Shallows. Gravity scan. Let's do it. Just get ourselves a bunch of science. There we go. Sagan C we already have, Shores we have, Sagan C, Degrass C. Okay, let's go ahead and transmit that. I am noting that uh, many of these things appear to be named for famed science communicators. I wonder if that's a coincidence. <laughs> Probably not. Sagan C still, okay. And we appear to be good. Okay, back to the Space Center. Fantastic. 
So at this point, we now need to be considering putting one up over Bop. So with that in mind, I just want to double check which moon Bop is. Because I, uh, <laughs> I don't remember. My familiarity with the jewel system is not extreme. Let's put it that way. Okay, that's Vol. This one's Bop. Okay, we were going to do that anyway. So specifically, what orbit are we looking at here? Okay. That's not too bad. It's got a bit of an inclination to it. But yeah, overall, that should be fine. So let's leave that facility and let's head over to the VAB. Now, one thing I do want to consider doing is putting a little bit more power generation on these probes. We're getting pretty far away from the sun and our Gigantors aren't really doing the job quite as much as I would like. So let's go ahead and pull up the Odd One Mark V, which of course has plenty of Delta V to get there. I just want... Hmm, maybe we should be doing this slightly differently. I don't think an RTG would be that helpful, actually. So if we move the Gravioli detector, like, say, over here, and then we were to move our Mech Jeb, say, hmm, where do I want to put it? I mean, we could just put it kind of awkwardly over here. <laughs> That'd be a little awkward, to be sure. I don't like that positioning at all. Maybe just stick it like here. What could go wrong? And with the flight unit, we'll do the same thing. Stick it like right here. We'll move the gravioli detector to be more like here. There, that frees up some space. And now we'll just go up to a quad coupled Gigantor. Like that. Okay, so that should uh, double our energy flow. When we go out to Elu, we will definitely want to use RTGs, but I think that will be sufficient energy flow for Jewel. So we'll go ahead and save that. Uh, one thing I would like to consider doing is something that I have completely forgotten. Yeah, I've got nothing. Um, it seems like we were a little bit low on our maneuvering stage here in terms of Delta V and we had to rely on the electric propulsion system, but ultimately that's fine. With the increased electric flow, we should be able to do that. Of course, we do cut our Delta V a bit by having these extra two Gigantors. Maybe we toss on a small amount of nuclear fuel? Hmm, I don't know. Our thrust to weight in that stage is already kind of low. Actually, it's 1.0. It's not awful. Let's try it. Let's toss on a small amount of fuel. So, like, the, the smallest version of the Rocco Max tank, which is the X-16, I believe. They have an X-8. They do have an X-8, but let's do an X-16. Drop the oxidizer out of there, since we don't need that. And we'll just make sure our staging is correct. Okay, our booster stages look good. Yep, and then our nuclear stage looks good. And then our maneuver stage looks good as well. Fantastic. Okay, so with this extra little bit of burn, we should be fine. So let's go ahead and launch this. Excellent. So the real question is, do I trust MechJeb to launch this? And the answer is no, but I'm feeling lazy, so let's do this anyway. Okay, MechJeb, let's go. Excellent. And off we go. That's, uh... That's quite the roll you've got going on there, Mech Jeb, considering I told you not to roll. 
but whatever. Looks like we're we're gonna be fine on the roll front. Got it under control. And in that case, that means that we are completely fine with this launch. Fantastic. Great job, Mech Jeb. We are skipping circularization. We're just going to burn hard prograde to leave the Kerbin system immediately. And of course, we are going to be ditching this protective shell at about 50 kilometers, thereabouts. That'll be perfectly fine. So the real question is, once we get there, how much delta V will matching that inclination take? That's the real question. Now, we might be able to match it from our transfer orbit relatively closely, which would be the best way to do it for sure. We'll see once we get over there. Of course, we're probably not going to be transferring directly to Bop. We're probably going to be transferring to Jewel first. Oh, it did manage to take out one of our fins. <laughs> oh well. Eww. These guys are uh, colliding back there. I hope they have fun with that. It's kind of irrelevant to us now. As soon as the engines cut out here, which will be pretty soon, we're pushing up our apoapsis nicely. As soon as these engines cut out, I'm going to turn on RCS so that we don't start drifting up in this direction. That's always a bit obnoxious when that happens. But first, we're going to deploy this fairing right... Well, we're not going up that quickly. We're going to deploy it right about... Now. And off goes the fairing. Excellent. Okay, and our apoapsis height is pushing up, so we're going to turn on RCS right at about 100 kilometers, because that's when the throttle will cut. There goes the throttle. RCS on. Just want to hold this roll. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, so with that in mind, we basically want to disengage autopilot at this point while it auto disengages. Just hold prograde. And we're just going to burn hard prograde. There we go. Not even going to bother with a maneuver node. We just want to push out our apoapsis to be out of the Kerbin sphere of influence, so that is exactly what we'll do. Now I would physics warp this burn. Whoa, that, uh, that didn't zoom very close at all. <laughs> I would physics warp this burn, but with this weak point here, we're going to run into issues with that. So, no physics warp it is. And we'll see just how far this initial booster stage gets us. Looks like it's going to get us a ways. We might run into a moon encounter, which would be a little awkward, but I don't think we will. I think moon will be right around here by the time we're out there. Okay. We are out of here. And we've still got 400 meters per second left in this stage. Fantastic. <laughs> okay. So. We are uh, currently going in this direction. That is excellent. So that's 32 days away. That's 11 days, 10 days. We'll go ahead and warp there. Please don't stop time warp over Kerbin. We, uh, we really don't need that. There we go. Okay, and once we're out here, I'm just going to go ahead and set our destination to be Joule. And it's a 1.3 degree inclination change, so we should probably go ahead and do that. So let's go ahead and match planes with target, because once again, as usual, <laughs> I'm feeling lazy. As soon as we are, there we go, in the same sphere of influence as the target, we'll go ahead and do this. Create and execute. 
Okay, so that's only 19 days away and only 200 meters per second. That is nice. I'm going to go ahead and physics warp the turn here. But I'm not going to physics warp the burn because we're still going to be using our primary stage here for a little bit of our transfer burn. Not for much of it, of course, but for a little bit. Joule is currently out beyond the orbit of Elu. Elu is, of course, a very eccentric orbit, whereas Joule is nearly circular. Not perfectly, but nearly circular. And we will have this burn completed momentarily. There we go. And we have matched planes. Fantastic. So at this point, we now need to just simply do a home and transfer to target. But let's see what that actually comes up with, shall we? It actually gives us an encounter. That's, you know, new. <laughs> I would like this encounter to be slightly higher. I would like to encapsulate Bop a little bit better. So let's go ahead and fiddle with this encounter node a little bit. Bring that periapsis up slightly to be... Yeah, that'll be a pretty good place right there. Now we'll need to match inclination with Bop, but we have tons of Delta V. This is only going to be 2700 Delta V. We'll have lots of maneuvering Delta V here, so... Let's just go ahead and execute that node. That node will be in 156 days. So I'm going to go ahead and physics warp the turn here. And once we detach the main stage, I feel comfortable physics warping with the nuclear engine, but not so much with the mainsail. <laughs> okay, so we will be there in 150 days. And once we get there, we're going to need to do a breaking burn, obviously. We'll put our new apoapsis slash periapsis. We're kind of going to circularize-ish, but BOP is kind of eccentric in its orbit. So we'll put it right around here-ish, in between BOP and Pole. It's the outermost moon, apparently. So that's where we're going to put that, and we are also going to have to match inclination. I doubt that will be in the same burn. It's just going to be very fuel inefficient to do it that way. So we'll just match planes with target after that, I think, in a separate burn. Now, we could have done some attempts at plane matching here in this burn, but I kind of didn't feel like doing it. As usual, I'm very, very lazy. <laughs> and yes, I have been seeing you guys' recommendations on other particular mods. Um... I will definitely look into those, however, at this point, I kind of don't want to change what mods I'm using this far into this playthrough, so maybe in the next one, I'll look at adding a few of those mods. By all means, keep the suggestions coming, though. It's very nice to see. I should probably be physics warping this burn, seeing as it's a 20-minute burn. There we go. That's a little bit better. So this burn will take a little bit of time, obviously. It's going to take about 19 minutes. So once we reach this periapsis here, we will then be doing our braking, and then we'll do an inclination, and then we'll do a home and transfer, and then we will, you know, standard stuff. Standard orbital dynamics. Once we've done the home and transfer into BOP, then we will be targeting this orbit, and we'll need to verify our directionality. That'll be an interesting one. I mean, not that interesting. And we'll need to set our inclination, and it'll it'll pretty much just be very, very simple. This is not a difficult set of maneuvers, it's just a lengthy set of maneuvers. But that's what we have physics warping for. We have another 15 minutes left on this burn which is a little bit exciting. We have left behind our booster stage. It's 100 kilometers away right now and has just dropped off our radar. 
so as far as the next plans go, like I said, I still want to put a communication satellite up way out here. Like, on the outskirts of the Jewel Sphere of Influence. And we also need to put one up around Tylo. And then we'll need to still put one up around Val. And one around Pull. So we'll be here for a little bit. We have one around Lathe. We do not have one around Val yet. Although we do have a rover on the Val surface. Somewhere. I'm <laughs> not sure exactly where it is. It's around somewhere. So yeah, we have a lot of communication satellites to put up, and I want to get those up and running and have a solid communications network in the Jewel system before we start really focusing on putting rovers on things. Realistically, the next landing that we're probably going to do is almost certainly going to, to end up being Jewel, which I, I use landing in air quotes there. You, you, can't, you can't see it, but... There were air quotes, you'll have to trust me on that. And uh, we'll just be crashing into the Jewel atmosphere and getting what data we can out of that. I don't know what data we'll get out of it, but for that to happen, again, I want to have as many communication satellites up as possible. I want to have all of these up so that we have the best chances of having good coverage. And we'll just slowly aero break in the Jewel atmosphere. I kind of wonder how deep we'll be able to get. I mean, we'll use like a, a 10 meter heat shield. Maybe we'll put in a, a couple of parachutes and see if we can't slow down like enormous amounts <laughs> and get to the, I believe it's negative 100 meters that you can get to in Jewel before you're just crushed by the Kraken. <laughs> Maybe we'll try to get that. We'll see. Hopefully it won't be as unsuccessful as crashing into the sun was. <laughs> that was very, very unsuccessful indeed. We have about four minutes of burn left here for this transfer burn, so that's good. And realistically, I think what's going to happen here is we're going to finish up this burn, and we're going to start warping to right about here, which is going to be two years out which is a little bit convenient because it's time for me to put a cut in ish here in a minute or two so i can go ahead and put a cut in and cut out most of that warp so that'll be good yes yes i know that i could technically cut out these warps and long burns and accelerate them in video editing but i'm too lazy to do that you should probably know that by now Anyway, uh, I think we're going to burn off the rest of our RCS in our braking maneuver over here, just so that we have as much nuclear engine as possible for maneuvering, because maneuvering with our uh, electric propulsion system, sure, it's doable. It just takes forever. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a braking maneuver right at this periapsis, right about here. And we'll just see how much delta V that takes. That is not so bad. However, I would like to do it... Oops, that was not the button I was looking to do. Let's go ahead and remake this. We'll do a braking maneuver right here. Get it down to there. And the point was, I wanted to slide it over this way, slightly. Come on, let, let, me, let me access the maneuver node. There we go. I want to slide it this way, actually, slightly. So that we encapsulate the orbit a little bit better. So we'll just delay our burn to about there. 1200 delta V? That should be doable. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put a cut in here as we start to warp here. We've got, of course, like two... Oops. <laughs> That's what happens when I hit the wrong button. We've got like two and a half years to warp, so I'm going to put a cut in here, and when we come back, we will be in the Jewel system. See you all then.